How's everybody doing today? Thanks for coming back to the channel. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Today, we are going to be talking about glass rods versus graphite rods. The pros and cons of each, and if you were to compare them, what are the major differences? Um, so, let's start. So for me, a glass rod is a softer tip and a slower bend. That's to me all a glass rod, that's the main difference. So if you look here, see how that's real soft? You can shake it and it's all over the place. The same thing with a graphite rod. A graphite rod wants to come back and snap faster. It's not, doesn't want to snap as, if, excuse me, it wants to come back twice as fast. It snaps really fast. So as you can see here, so this, this graphite rod's a medium heavy. No different than a glass rod. It's also a medium heavy. So you can see that. And um, so the main difference to me is the load up and the gear ratios that you want to use. So I learned from trial and error and people telling me that I should be throwing this glass rod on a lower gear ratio, especially for cranking. Um, so if you're going to throw trouble hooks, you're gonna throw chatter baits, spinner baits, something that you really want to get that bass to eat it, like real deep. Um, especially chasing baits. A glass rod can be deadly, and here's why. So the way this tip works is, if he's coming in for the bait, okay, he grabs it. He's coming from behind it, and he grabs the bait like this. You have a chance, depending on where he has it in his mouth with a graphite rod, to pull it. And when you pull it, that tip is so stiff and so fast, it'll pull it right out of his mouth. Whereas with a glass rod, what will typically happen is you'll just keep reeling and the rod will load up probably about there. And then all you have to do is turn. And once you get to that point, that power, because it's a medium heavy, it gets stiffer and all that's, that's all you need to penetrate with trouble hooks and a single hook. Now, mind you, these aren't as thick as jig hooks or, you know, wide gap, extra thick gauge worm hooks, but I mean, you don't have to put a whole bunch of holes. So just this little bit of bend and this turn will really get that fish hooked real good. And then the other possible thing about it is when you have a big fish and they're aggressive and they're head shaking, this rod it's gonna fight that much easier and it's gonna load up and off, on and off. It's gonna keep that penetration deep on them hooks and keep him locked in much easier than a graphite rod because the graphite rod will have a tendency to fight back. And when he head shakes, there's a possibility you could lose that fish. Um, I'm throwing this right now on our 5.4 Revo X. Um, See, by four right there on the back. And this is the Halo cranking series, Halo 2 cranking series. Um, <clears throat> so for me, glass rods has changed a lot of the way that I fish. Now, some people are gonna say that's too slow of a gear ratio. Depending on how you fish and how you like to fish, that's all up to uh, opinion. Uh, for me, if I throw a 6XD or an 8XD on that rod and I try to use a 6, 6 to 1, or even anything higher than that, I'm wearing myself out. Um, I'm not letting the rod do its job by absorbing a lot of that resistance from that big 6XD or 8XD. Um, so I'll use a five to one and have that big handle to wrench down and let that torque of the reel do the work for me. <clears throat> and for graphite, just give you a quick sample like I did with the glass, I'll show you here. Uh, I got a spinnerbait tied on, but the difference with the with the glass and the graphite is simply this you as soon as you load up it wants to snap right back like instantly it's got a fast tip on it so and it's stiffer even though it's a medium heavy and it's the same length rod it's just stiffer so it wants to rip that bait to try to keep them pinned but in reality if you're throwing a trouble hook or something like that it's very easily on a head shake for him to just load up and then lose it <clears throat> now yes you can use a medium rod 
with graphite and catch tons of fish on a crankbait. Absolutely, I've done it before before I got on the glass. My personal opinion is glass has changed the way that I see crankbait fish. I just have that much more confidence in it. Now the only downfall of the glass that I can see is you don't have the sensitivity that you have in a graphite rod. You lose a lot of that sensitivity. So when you come over that stump, you'll know some things there, but you won't know when it's completely over and it's running true again, typically. Um, <clears throat> for me, that's really not a big deal. All I care about is when that fish bites it, he's going to be locked in. And you'll know when he gets it because the, the rod tip will load up. You'll just keep cranking and the rod tip will load up and you won't even know he's there until it's already got it deep in his mouth. Um, so that's a good, that's an also a good plus for me. And when I'm throwing a crankbait and I want a fast retrieve on a 5.4, I just speed it up. Just burn it as fast as you can. And like I said in my other crankbait video, as fast as you can and then kill it. Just stop it. And then keep going and then stop it. And a lot of times, if they're not hungry, it'll cause a reaction bite and they'll come and eat it out of instinct. Um, so that can really be a big game changer if you're throwing crankbaits. I know in Florida in the summertime, if you're not reeling it as fast as you can, you're not going to get bit, typically. Um, so, everybody, thank you for watching. Please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, if you have any more questions or anything you'd like for me to comment on or state what I know about, please leave a, a comment down below and I'll be happy to get back to you. Thank you.